The story of Sergeant Jim Dibble. Imagine being a prisoner of war, constant hardship, inadequate food, and not knowing when, if ever, you'll see your family again. Sergeant Jim Dibble of the 7th Battalion Royal Northumberland Fusiliers was one such man. Jim felt it was his duty to escape his captors, and he attempted it an extraordinary eight times from a number of German POW camps over a period of four years. Jim's escapes involved the usual, cutting through a barbed wire fence, hiding under a car, digging a tunnel, and the more unusual. I managed to barter Red Cross cigarettes for a packet of navy blue dye, which did an outstanding job of fast dyeing my pyjamas to resemble a suit of overalls. The drama club's makeup man promised to add about ten years to my face with lines and grey hair. And Corporal McCallum, the escape coordinator, undertook to get my rucksack planted in the workman's shed. On the morning of the escape, I walked out of the gate disguised as a workman. I passed within a few feet of the sentry and looked him straight in the eye. I crossed the road and entered the workman's hut, waited for a few minutes, picked up my rucksack and walked down the road outside the barbed wire and the sentry boxes. I walked past the bunker on my right where a British prisoner of war, Sergeant Major Rawcliffe, was looking out of his window. I was stupid enough to speak to him, saying, How's this for a disguise? His answer shook me. Bloody awful, mate. But I was outside, and he was inside, so I kept going. Unfortunately, Jim was captured a few days later. But this didn't deter him from his efforts. In late 1944, he made his eighth and final escape attempt. During a camp move, he hid, and once the camp was empty, he simply walked out to freedom. Astonishing as it seems, Jim was not a one-off. In many of his escape attempts, he was joined by other British prisoners of war. Once the war was over, they formed their very own society, the Army Escape Club. Jim became a proud member of the North East Branch, where former escapees were able to relive and share their stories and experiences. You can discover more inspiring stories about our soldiers at the Fusiliers Museum of Northumberland at Annick Castle.